Peters, we're going to switch topics now to volumes of gases. And before we do that, we're going to just briefly describe about gases. Now, in IGCSE, as well as other curriculum, uh, all gases are treated ideally. That means they all have the same, they all the particles that make up those gases are the same size. And they all behave the same, whether it's when they move, the direction they move, or how they collide. All right? In IGCSE, one mole of any gas will occupy 24 cubic decimeters of space at RTP. Now, what is RTP? RTP is merely the condition of which the, air, the gas will exist in. For example, so for RTP, it's called room temperature pressure, which means the temperature is at 25 degrees Celsius and the pressure is at 1 atm or atmospheric pressure. Now, so at 25 degrees Celsius and 1 atmospheric pressure, which is sea level, any gas, whether it's nitrogen, carbon dioxide, argon, methane, they will all occupy 24 cubic decimeters of space, or 24 liters. So, at different temperature, the gas will be either bigger or smaller. So, for example, if it is zero degrees Celsius, the volume of gas will not occupy 24 cubic decimeters, but much less than that. And if you raise up the temperature to 30, then the volume of gases will expand larger than 24 degrees. The pressure, if you increase the pressure, then the volume that the gas occupies will decrease. And if you decrease the pressure, the volume of gases that will occupy in a particular space will increase. So, now that we have those basic concepts down, Let's talk about the conversion triangle involving volumes of gases. Again, like the previous conversion triangle, we have volume at the nominator, the mole on the left side of the triangle, left bottom corner of the triangle, and the molar volume, in this case, will be 24 cubic decimeters at RTP at the bottom right corner. And we use this conversion to kind of convert between moles to volumes, okay? So, here are a couple of examples. So, let's go right here. How much volume will be occupied by 2.5 moles of hydrogen? Okay. So, let's take a look at this. We'll take moles, moles at the bottom, and what you're trying to solve for is volume. Okay, so volume will equal mole times 24 cubic decimeter. And what you have now is 2.5 times 24. Okay, and that should give us a number. Oh dear, I forgot uh, my calculator. Plus, it should be 48 plus 12. 60! Yeah. I didn't need my calculator after all. So that should equal to 60 cube, 60 moles. Yeah, no, no, 60 cubic decimeters. So 2.5 moles of hydrogen will occupy 60 cubic decimeters. What about if we change hydrogen to like carbon dioxide? It still be 60. It doesn't matter. Argon, a heavier gas, will it occupy less than 60 cubic decimeters? No, it will also occupy 60 cubic decimeters. Great. So all gases will occupy the same amount of space. Now, how many moles are there? Next question. How many moles are there in 36 cubic decimeters of nitrogen? Well, to do that, we are trying to find moles, right? Because we're trying to solve for moles, and we will uh, take volume, so moles, 
equals the volume over 24 cubic decimeters. And so 36 divided by 24, and that should give me about 1.5 moles, okay, of nitrogen. So, for th at 36 cubic decimeters in RTP, the amount of moles of nitrogen that we can find in that space will be 1.5 moles of nitrogen. What if we change it to, let's say, oxygen? It doesn't matter. It still be 1.5 moles of oxygen. What if we use methane? It does not matter. It still be 1.5 moles of methane. 